This is Monono Square. Y'all know. Oh! I am here with the legendary Caleb Catron. The one with the most. The most. <laughs> it's got that Sir on right here. This thing's a beast. Uh, we got the MSX Pro. We're going to see if I can keep up with him on the MSX Pro. The Suron is a 67 volt. 67? 60. 60 volt. This is 100 volts. So it should be faster, right? Technically. <laughs> That's how this shit works. <laughs> but I think the Suron can hit like 50 miles an hour. This can only do 40 ish. But uh, we're going to be going on some, uh, what do you call these? Mountain bike trail. Mountain bike trail. <laughs> so, I mean, I, definitely the Suron. I don't think the MSX technically. Even the best of best riders probably could not keep up with this. Um, no, I mean these these are basically a little dirt bike. I mean right. guys are riding these in the 125 class on the tracks at home. So he's going to go slow enough that hopefully I can keep up with him, get some good shots for you. I think it's going to look cool on the drone footage, but uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Give us a like. This is Caleb Catron. You can find him on uh, Facebook or whatever, <laughs> Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. He's still doing the Instagram? I, I have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't do the social media thing. He's too cool for it, man. Yes. He's just a legend in the community. Everybody knows Caleb. Cool. All right, let's do this. I'll get the drone up in the air. Let's go. A note as my drone is flying up into the air, the Skydio 2 to lock onto me. This is my first time on a dirt track, a mountain bike track with the MSX Pro. I have done this track on my 84 volt Nikola. And honestly, I did a better job on the 84 volt Nikola than I did on the MSX Pro. Uh, something about the, I'm just not used to the MSX Pro. I haven't put enough miles on it and it's a really heavy device. So there's a lot to get used to. Um, overall, I did a pretty good job, but I definitely don't have my balance right on it yet. And there's uh, gonna be a bit of a learning curve. With each new wheel you get, you gotta put on, it takes about a month, I feel like, to really synchronize to the device. So. Trying to keep up with the Suron on my my first time ever on a uh, mountain bike trek with MX Pro is a bit difficult, but it, this footage turned out really well and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button. This is going to be some GoPro Max chest cam footage mixed with some Skydio 2 footage. Let me know if you like the mixture of footage. Hopefully it adds some perspective. All right, let's do this.
Well, <laughs> lost everybody else. So my initial impression of the MSX Pro 2500 watt on this dirt track is it's a bit too heavy and it's not, it doesn't have the agility of like a Kingsong 16X. A Kingsong 16X has a lot of agility. So if you're buying it for this kind of thing, I don't think it is the most optimal EUC. There are probably better EUCs for this dirt track. Okay, I'm gonna put the drone on you real quick. Just stop for a sec. Go lock it onto you. <laughs> okay, so I've locked on the drone to Caleb on the Suron and he's just gonna take off now full speed ahead and try to lose me essentially. And he basically does, I can't keep up. <laughs> but this footage is pretty sweet. I have a little bit of a crash. Let me know which EUC you think would be best for this kind of dirt track. I'm thinking the Tesla, maybe the small tire, the lightweight would just be amazing. Like I said, I did better job on my 84 volt Nikola than I did on this MSX Pro. Is it a lack of experience? Maybe I just haven't put enough miles into the MSX Pro. Maybe the mountain climber would be really good. That's one EUC I haven't ridden is the mountain climber. Has anybody ridden the mountain climber, the 14 inch wheel by Gatway? My number one pick I think for this dirt track would be the Kingsong 16X. I think the Kingsong 16X would just destroy on this track. And if there was like a EUC race on this track, I think the Kingsong 16X would be the winner. I would like to try it out. Let me know what you, which EUC you think would win in a race on this kind of dirt track in the comments below. The one wheel also does really good on this track. And I think the one wheelers actually really enjoy riding on this track it kind of feels like flying the dirt because uh it's getting close to summertime is a lot looser and it's a lot more dangerous than when i we rode on this track in the winter time so it's something we had to be cognizant on the the suron doesn't really have to worry about the loose dirt as much but on the eucs and one wheels the loose dirt is uh, very hazardous and that's what's going to cause my crash coming up here in a bit okay so right here i hear a grinding in the msx pro and i'm like okay my buddy had a his board burn up because a rock got stuck in there and he didn't tilt it to the side in time, which was a good tip. I didn't know that. I'm glad he Get a rock unfortunately had to go through this so that I could learn from it. So I, I hear that grinding in there and I immediately like turn my UC on the side to, to cut it out. This is my little square. No, no. Oh. 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 And I eat it. There was some loose ground at the bottom there. Uh, I actually crashed in this spot twice and I wasn't smart enough to like clean my lens on the GoPro. So you don't get to see the second crash until next time, guys, stay in the Zen zone. Let's get into Caleb doing some solo riding on the Suron. I hope you enjoy. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're ever in Vegas, hit us up. We'd love to ride with you.